morning and welcome once again to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a little verse in Hosea chapter 14, and it's verse 3, and it says this, In thee the fatherless find mercy. Just a few words with a tremendous meaning. In thee the fatherless find mercy. The little heading I've given today is simply this, Father of the fatherless and the friend of the of the friendless. How wonderful, how a wonderful Saviour and how wonderful God is today. You see, when everyone else fails us, let us keep firmly fixed in our minds the truth that Jesus never fails. When people let us down, and let us down they will, and let us down they have, and it will continue to happen. For the evil one is round about us, and he will try to bring you into discouragement and all the rest of it. But when people let us down, he will lift us up. His everlasting arms are underneath us and round about us. Thank God this day for the Saviour and our Heavenly Father. The text says, in thee. In who? In thee. The great I am. The great I am. Should our trust be today, lean not upon the arm of the flesh, for it will certainly fail. We must cast away all our other confidences and we must rely upon the Lord alone. You see, when a child is left without a mother, and without a father, then the Lord will take him in, the Bible says. Psalm 27 says this, my father, when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord, then the Lord will take me in. He waits to rescue all that are in need. We live in a day when life seems to be so worthless and so cheap. People will live with one another and they'll find that a baby has been conceived and before the child is even born, you hear the words often says, I don't want it. I don't want it. It's going to get in the way and all the rest of it are our plans. And very often we read in this sad world that the baby is aborted. But I want to tell you something wonderful this morning, friends. Our Heavenly Father never aborts a single child, but takes care and nourishes the child until he or she grows up in the knowledge of Christ. If today you find yourself alone and feel that you can't trust anyone, then cast yourself upon the living God. All you need you will find in him. Remember when Christ was ascending to heaven, he knew that his followers would never be able to manage on their own. And so he says these words, he says, I will not leave you comfortless. And he says he would send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. And the word comfortless there, if you look at it in the margin of your Bible, it means orphans. I will not leave you orphans. You can never be an orphan, friends. But with Christ, we have an eternal Heavenly Father. And grace mercy is found in our invisible yet ever-living God. And he will provide all our needs. For when he it is that taught us to pray, those wonderful words, Our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us that which we need today. Supply that which we didn't need today, whatever it may be, spiritually, physically, mentally, he is able and will supply all we need. Our daily basic needs he meets for you and for me, but also he meets the needs of our eternal soul. Trust your heavenly father today, for he will not fail. God bless you and I look forward to speaking with you again, the same time, the same place, tomorrow. God bless.